Day two of the Spa Challenge in Durban at the ICC. It is uh, the Welsh against the Proteus at under 21 level. Thanks very much to Simeon Darker and uh, the legendary Master DC Mahono down on the court side, getting us an all very nicely set up for the second day of play in this three match test series. Right here at the International Convention Center, opened in 1997 in August by the former president, uh, Dr. Nelson Mandela. It was a really hectic pass by the Dinkley Akiapin to Charmaine Bart and Bart handled it brilliantly. Uh, in this encounter, although the score is at 2-2, it's a much better reflection of the Welsh. And uh, the Welsh putting up a much better performance than we saw yesterday. It's a good split from Charmaine Bart and likely to increase the lead for the Proteus. Keeper. Great shot from Charmaine Bart. Another goal for the baby Proteus, and suddenly the type of style and form that we saw from the baby Proteus yesterday is coming into play. Yeah, that's great work there by the spot baby Proteus making things difficult for the Welsh side and I think that's what's been impressive about this team. Advantage obstruction, wing defence. Ball shooter, contact elbow. Advantage obstruction, centre. Robert, 17 years old and started playing cricket as a youngster and then discovered netball. Cricket went out the back door. She's here playing international netball and uh, she can play goal defence, goal shooter and wing attack she plays as a center right center, now so emma roberts on court for the injured larry jenkins actually quite an interesting uh, you know combination of positions the yes it's looking a lot more scrappy this encounter than it was the free flow yesterday but that was due to the domination of the south african proteus yes can you show on it's a good feed to show my impact good split from her as well bart will make it count for the Proteus and the recycling there was exactly what you want to see from an international side. And that's a really good uh, pass from James to Hitchens. And the Welsh recycling the ball just as impressively as they're going to double figures. Yeah, Kev, I really enjoy, you know, the style of play that's being brought forward today by the Welsh side. The Ferby Roderman again just seemed to be a little isolated. And, oh, first time we've seen a bounce pass in the match comes from Chawani but will convert that opportunity the ball stolen away by the wing attack as well that's a nice little feed in towards Inimidi Fenty who's a tall ass no chance at all for the Welsh goalkeeper Varnish obstruction wing Varnish obstruction goal defence Good work done by Sasha Lee Peterson as well. Oh, Kev, oh, these defenders are defense. really doing amazing stuff. I mean, we saw at halftime what the attempts at goal were. 41 for the spot, baby purchase versus 16 of Wales. So it really speaks to the work, the, you know, the solid defense that the spot, baby purchase are displaying in today's encounter. It really looks amazing. Obstruction penalty. Did Will play in the starting yes. lineup yesterday. Obstruction. Obstruction. Advantage the first goal of the second half, then, to Lydia Hitchens, and the Welsh are on the scoreboard. Not on side. Goal the Goals are just raining in at the moment. The Welsh have got no answer whatsoever. Yeah, you know what's exciting about this Welsh side, Kev? I think when the shooters get the ball, Incorrect they do play. certainly make it count. The problem, however, I don't think they're getting enough opportunities. Varnish obstruction, wing and offside. Varnish obstruction, goal defence. Advantage obstruction on two occasions called by Yannette Edeling, and the shot bounces around a little. <laughs> ball, easy steal away. From the goalkeeper Anna Brindley by Inamari Fenter. That's about concentration, a bit of good fortune, maybe as well. And the Proteus absolutely dominating proceedings towards the end of it and coming up with a very, very well earned victory indeed.